I captured this this morning, just before sunrise. I had to like hold it for three seconds, super steady. Yeah, that's moonlight. Five fifteen. Uh, didn't we just have a full moon? I think we did. She says, take me from this wilderness. I want to be where I won't be lonely. Take me from this wilderness. I want to be where I can see. Take me from this wilderness. I want to be where I can be free. Yeah. Sounds a lot better when uh, Paul Rogers sings it. The Firm. Uh, I believe that's a page and plant uh, offering. The lyrics and certainly the music. Midnight Moonlight off of The Firm. I guess it would be the album. Yeah, The Firm. Yeah. Just a nice picture. I got up, like I said, around 5.15 or so, and I'm like, boy. Pretty bright out there still. Let's go. Let's go outside and have a look and see what see if this new uh well it's not new anymore, is it? This new iPhone 13 X Pro P jumbo sized uh do everything for me except take a decent picture. Let's see what it can do with this. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I can go out there and I'm like, <sighs> point and shoot. But I knew what the crosshairs meant. It was like, because I saw the, the timer timing down. I'm like, oh, they finally put a camera in here that has an, a, 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 what do you call, a F-stop or whatever you call it. I don't know. It's able to open its aperture for a longer period to gather more light. Okay, there you go. <laughs> so, I'm lucky because... I can get on here for as long as YouTube will allow me to stay. I, I, I never intend to. I never intend to push it to the point where I get, uh, you know, knocked off. But I'm also not going to kiss ass either, because uh, my my intention is to leave something behind for the man, and that's what I'm doing. I'm putting myself in the machine. Uh, I don't expect you to understand that. It's okay. I don't understand it either. You know, uh, Allison Krauss and Robert Plant, you know, you've just heard me talk about like the black keys on the track. And I'll tuck poems into shit or I'll tuck the real intention of my track into shit and hide it. And then I don't go fucking down the street blowing my trumpet saying, notice me, notice me. Well, there's a short in here and I like, notice me. Damn it. Allison Krauss and Robert Plant, notice me. Yeah, I was at your show at Merriweather on June 10th or whatever. Yeah, I was sitting next to my lady friend who says, oh, she's married. Stop talking like that. And a few seconds later, you know how your thumbs are. She's like, oh, she's divorced. I don't know if all this is true. I'm just telling you what my lady friend sitting next to me during the concert at Merriweather Post Pavilion is telling me. Okay, that's all I know. Now, why did she do all that? Because I turned to her moments earlier and I go, je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. Remember I told you I try on French, it doesn't fit well. They have it. That which cannot be named. They got a thing. Don't know if it's physical or not, but they got a thing. Don't care if it's physical or not, but they got a thing. And she's like, oh, my, my lady friend. He's like, oh, she's a married woman. I'm like, mm hmm, well, whatever. And that's when the thumb scrolling, like you money counters do, you women. <clears throat> the phone that went down. And she's like, she's looking down at her phone. She's like, oh, she's divorced. I'm like, Shh, one for the man's side. I hope all that's true. Or I'm going to really sound like an ass.
because I didn't really care to Google it, damn it, because I don't care. Hey, you, this is mid-shot on your aromatherapy. Now I got to put butane in my, oh, this is some, you know, life is hard. <laughs> so, yeah, man, I felt it. And I, being a poet, honored them. Do you know how hard it is to get hold of somebody that you want to give a piece of your heart to? It's pretty fucking hard. I ended up at one of the, the band members' agricultural fucking websites where they sell, excuse me, sir, I'm not poo-pooing your website. I'm just poo-pooing how hard it is to get hold of anybody. Uh, and I, oh, there's a drop-down box. I can leave a note in here. Because I remember he was in the band that night. That's him, the... Uh, the bassist, just like that, the full, you know, the big one. Uh, yeah, that thing they call the bass, right? Okay, which I call deafening. How fast do you want to go deaf, John? I was like, okay, we'll leave the blah honk in the GTO. We don't need to enhance that. My, my, my wingman says, yeah, we can put a chair. How fast do you want to go deaf? I'm like, okay. So I get on this guy's website. He, he Seems like a very decent man, probably a Christian, good, loving family, blah, blah, blah. They got some kind of like farm and tool shit. And I'm like, no, I'm not placing a fucking order. I'm trying to get this poem to you, by the way, and Ms. Krause and Mr. Plant. But after three fucking hours of it, not even being able to get an email drop box to drop my fucking poem into... I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional because I delivered a piece of my heart. And when I want it to be known, I want it to be known. Sometimes I don't. I'm not asking you for your fucking autographs. I gotta start this post over. I totally fucked this up. My wrath for my ego, for my writing. No, let it stand. Poets are different. We're different. I guess if you're a celebrity, shit, man, have an email drop box because I can guarantee you whoever your handlers are, they're going to see this poem come through and they're going to go, oh, well, he's not asking for an autograph. Oh, He's written a poem for the two of them. Maybe I should forward it. Maybe they might like that. Maybe that might make their life a little richer as they take a piece of my heart and they receive it. I'm moody. Yeah, I am. I'm moody. Yeah, I don't have to do the notice me, notice me on here. I see these content creators, and man, it's their life. That's they, the die is cast. That's what they've chosen to do. And they live and die by the AI. I think it's so cute. Because I can say the AI, go fuck yourself. Because <laughs> I'm not here for likes or anything. I'm just here to get into the machine. And if the AI can't handle an F word here or there, well, then the AI probably needs to run a self-diagnostic because <laughs> I'm not asking for anything except a place to live. But you're going to get all of me. Not a sanitized version. What's the point of that? Yeah, save this for last. All right, there's more butane in my lighter. Let us let us attempt to finish this uh, dose of aromatherapy. You ever seen the movie Rollerball? Again, it's kind of like one of those main reasons for the posts. My poetry is lousy, you said. Ah, yes. Diamonds and rust shown by uh, the unwashed vagabond. I wear that like a tattoo. Are you kidding me? You know I eat that up. 
the unruly one, the bastard. <laughs> the rough, the one with the rough edges. I live for that. There. Go me. <laughs> what was the main reason for this post? I like James Conn. I thought he was a good actor. <coughs> Just liked him. cast a movie called Rollerball. I want to say he's back in the 70s. And the premise is this. Governments are passe. Corporations now run the world. And to feed the masses, if you will, their bread and circuses, their entertainment, they played a game called Rollerball. And it was similar to roller derby. Only this game was uh, a, a bit more lethal. Because roller derby can get rough. This game, rollerball, was a bit more lethal. Actually, absolutely lethal. Yeah, remember John Houseman played. Uh, you may remember this. At something, we make money the old-fashioned way. We earn it. At Smith Barney. At Morgan Stanley. At one of the... Just pick a name. They, they, they change all the time, trust me. They get in bed with each other all the time. <laughs> they say politics makes strange bedfellows, yeah. <laughs> Take a seat, bitch. I got one better for you than that. It's called making money. <clears throat> I mean, think about it. A stranger contacts, hopefully, a professional at what they do to have their spouse killed, and they pay that person money. Why, that's making money the old-fashioned way, and that's earning it. Woo! Yeah, so this game was called Rollerball. And John Housen played the CEO of one of the corporations. Again, at this point, the, the world was run by corporations. And quite effectively, I might add. And I, having served 10 years in the federal government, can promise you quite effectively. Because you see, corporations have a bottom line. The government does not. So it was a happy, prosperous world. Future world. They, I think they banished hunger. They, you know. And the way they jockeyed for position, these corporations on the global stage, in the public's eye, to be fit, most favored child, most favored nation status. Oh, I, I love me. Than because of what you did. You, you made me. So, yeah, you made this brain. <laughs> You're sorry now, aren't you? I know I am. So, with that, I will close with the following. Apple. Google. Samsung. British Petroleum, the NRA, Walmart, I think that's just a dressed up Kmart, I used to work at Kmart, I stocked night shelves, so when I'd hit the Clinton Inn, at 8.30 in the morning to crack a beer. I didn't think anything was wrong. The others did. Of course, what the fuck are you doing in there at 8.30 in the morning? Am I right? There you go. Okay, just saying. Just pick a Forbes 500. <laughs> Facebook. How much do you think that kid's worth, Mark Zuckerberg? 
How much pull do you think that boy has now? Oh, you see him up there on Capitol Hill being quote unquote grilled. Didn't they have to put him in a, on like a potty seat or a trainer seat? Didn't they have to put a cushion under him to, so he would sit higher in the chair? Is he is he diminutive? Well, I can tell you this much: his global pull now is not uh, slight. Can we come up with a couple of more? Oh, Enron. They're bittersweet. <laughs> Who? Give me another corporation. Because you see, they already run the world now. The governments that we have are beholden to them. When you reach, the higher you climb the political ladder, the more of your soul you sell. There's, there's just no other way. You're going to make compromises, and some of those compromises are going to be with your soul. Your, your set of moral values, how's that? Why, I'd imagine even some of our greatest leaders. <laughs> they weren't so pure by the time they got to that position of leadership. So, I'll summate with this. I will give you reality and then I'll shut my big fat mouth. Until the next track. Duh. Duh. <laughs> One, if you think you have any privacy, you're on a diet of milk. Two, if you think your political representative, whomever she may be, is for you, you're on a diet of milk. If you believe that He who has the gold makes the rules is the true golden rule. Then you are not on a diet of milk. <laughs>